have here a message from Gaza. <laughs> I'm going to, I'll, I'll read to people. I'm going to sit in Gaza right now. Right, how lucky you are, you will see tomorrow. But here and now, we don't know if there will be tomorrow. Even now, we've, even we just had power, but the Israeli army is still attacking other areas now, and I can hear it. Here are a few things that are happening here. 20 martyrs till now, most of them kids and children. The Israeli army is attacking almost everywhere as usual, but they are saying they are only attacking Hamas army. I thought they gave us a break for a few hours, but no way. We have just received three rocks very close to our house. The whole house is shaking, windows almost crash. In night time when the aerial bombardment start, the sky colour changes to red because of fire. We have just felt the walls windows and everything being shaken. I'm writing to you now while my hands are shaking. For a second you feel it's your turn, it's the end. Then you feel you have been dead and alive again with less than a second and all you can hear is kids and women screaming and crying because of fear and horror. Then you start hearing ambulance cars running in the streets trying to reach injured people to take them to hospital. Today my brother and myself spent almost three hours trying to find bread and food for his kids. Then we found two families and running away from their homes which had been destroyed last night. They don't have anywhere to go. These days there is no safe place in Gaza. We don't know where, when and how the air raids will start. When you walk in the street you can feel the anger, sadness and fear in everyone's eyes, even myself. You can smell the death around you everywhere. But with all this anger and fear, Palestinian people are still strong and helping each other, fighting for freedom and defence. God knows if we are next again or not. Hope this will finish soon because I can't handle the fear and horror that everyone is living now. Please go out and tell the truth and let everyone know what is happening here in Gaza. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. First of all, um, let me to thank every one of you because you came up here, because you are concerned about the law, the men and the children as we speak. We've been going at this point in Gaza. I thank you for your courage, for your understand and your heart of flesh. I'm speaking here as a Palestinian born in before 1948. When the Israeli Zionist government came to Palestine, they came with a plan. And that plan is started in my 15, 1948. That was the first ethnic ecclesiastic of 780,000 Palestinians. I am one of those people who lived in the refugee camp, lost my land, but I am not born or I try to remain. I tried to speak to the people, the average people in the world. I lost confidence in our politicians, whether they are American or Australian. I spoke this morning with one small, and I gave him two letters, one for Mrs. Gerard and one for himself to consider his government is still like to organize Palestine as a state. As you know, in the 29th of this month, Mahmoud Abbas is going to ask the United Nations to organize Palestine Island as a state by the Nazi citizen of Angola. Friends, let me tell you this. I followed the Israeli politics since I was born before I've been born. Israel is a country, is a Zionist country, based in destruction and demolition and killing every aspect of Palestinian life. Whether it's in, in land or in life. The Israeli government is still ethnically cleaning. And now as we speak, the, the, the marching toward Gaza with tens of thousands of soldiers. We had three wars in the last six years in Gaza, and that war is here. I ask the Australian government. Right. It's a land of Palestine! Kill
Telling children is a crime. Telling children is a crime. Well, Justice for Palestine has called for another rally next Friday so that everybody here today has time to go out and spread the word, take some of the flyers that are there on the, the table already, um, but also put your name on the mailing list and we'll send out more information and more material throughout the week. Um, this demonstration today is an important turnout and it's, uh, we stand here today with uh, thousands and millions of people across the world who are protesting um, today and have been over the last couple of days as well. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free, Palestine! Free, free!